Good morning. Wow, can you see uh, how the uh, days are getting uh, shorter, darker? Um, so let's uh, let's begin. Welcome to the uh, Path of Wildness meditation for, you know, I can never remember the date, but it'll be up there or here or someplace like that. Um, so if this is worthwhile, I only, uh, if you see the dates and stuff like that, I only, uh, uh, well, for the most part, I'm only doing them if they're, they're worthwhile. So uh, I don't know, really upload these unless uh, they come out smoothly. Otherwise, they just don't get uploaded. They just become you know, what they are, which which is really all they are was intended. I've been doing this for a long time. All it was intended for was a kind of an affirmation to help me to, to remember uh, what these principles are, to keep them uh, uh, forefront of my mind during the day. So the uh, path of wildness, uh, a walk of equanimity, balanced movement through life, um, maintaining control uh, of uh, emotional responses, not denying those responses, but uh, being able to uh, to guide where they go and to not uh, run away, <clears throat> let them run away, uh, and, and 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 guide me, <laughs> so to speak. So there are uh, three objectives and seven principles. The first objective is the goal of developing and maintaining good, sound principles through the course of life. It's a uh, uh, a long-term endeavor. Uh, that's kind of a challenging one because I recommend uh, developing the principles on our own but there's not a lot of things that are really new in humanity uh, not a lot of novel thoughts anymore that someone hasn't thought about so you, a lot of times it's just uh, you might come up with something new but it, someone else may have thought about it so it seems new but something else has thought about it but in so many cases you're locking on to ideas that others have suggested that uh, ring true, ring well to you. I don't like that sound, ring true. Because I don't think, or do I? Truth is a relative thing. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. That's funny how <clears throat> speaking a concept can uh, make it come, come out differently. Because I do believe there's objective truth, which is defined as, uh, for example, whatever contributes to improving the well being of. Our species of well-being of life, without uh, 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 coming at the cost of the uh, individual, the liberties of the individual, the defined liberties of the individual. But at the same time, truth is also relative, which is an objection to some, including me in many ways. But so, but I think we have. There is that objective component to it. Anyway, I'm down another, this is the type of thing that, this is one of the reasons that these exercises are so fun, because uh, they spawn off these uh, sub-thoughts <clears throat> that I can enjoy after this video is done. So, uh, more thinking about uh, objective and subjective truth. So anyway, uh, oh goodness. So the development of, of the development of good principles is, is, is something that may build upon the ideas of others as well as our own. The uh, second uh, objective is to uh, perform, have, exercise good emotional reactions. So when things happen in life, uh, we don't uh, are ambushed by our emotions, and, and uh, instead we can uh, see them for what they are. The, the pre-passion, the rising of the feeling, recognizing what it is, and before it develops into a full-blown passion, which is when it runs away with us. Uh, but instead, uh, recognizing it for that as maybe, but putting it in its place, and uh, behaving in a more mature manner. Uh, it's kind of like uh, keeping keeping a fire and letting letting that instead of letting that kindle the fire burn out of control, kind of moderating the logs on there, you know, to kind of keep it in a manageable, almost almost a comfortable level, comfortable with our humanity, with the, the emotions that are well up inside of us, without ever becoming a all-consuming bonfire. That's the second objective. The third objective is simply to perform good actions over the course of our life for their own sake. Um, and of course, uh, these actions are defined by uh, the principles. And there are seven of those. The first one is the atomic principle. The universe is bits and pieces, chunks of, uh, chunks of uh, frozen energy called matter that uh, consist of uh, components, uh, molecules, atoms, subatomic particles that are constantly in change of flux, changing what was yesterday is something else today and again something else tomorrow. 
keeping that in mind helps us to re to not be surprised when the change occurs, and uh, also to be uh, uh, prompts us to action in, in light of the fact that we too will soon be changed and be something else and be gone eventually. The uh, second principle is the second uh, yeah, principle is the uh, uh, principle of nature. Everything in the universe has a particular nature. Solid objects are uh, impermeable for the most part, apparently, so to, to our, from our perspective. Uh, fluid objects flow and settle, uh, fill, fill cavities to, their, to, to the form of the cavity uh, if in, in the presence of gravity. Uh, uh, life has its particular nature too. Plants are sedentary or relatively so, stationary. They grow, respire, reproduce, and die. Likewise, animals will be at the component of mobility and maybe some mental capabilities. Well, maybe there's some of that in plants too. So there's natures to everything, including us. And it's worthwhile to understand what the nature of our fellows is, and especially to understand what our own nature is, that we may uh, uh, abide that nature in the uh, course of living our days. We'll be happier, we'll be more productive, we'll be, certainly be more fulfilled if we can do so. The next principle, number two, is the uh, principle, social principle. Human beings are social animals. Uh, we can gain a lot in solitude, but uh, we can do a lot, we can build a lot together. And there's something very worthwhile in pursuing social ends. Three, I'm going a little faster because of time, time running out. Three, uh, the, uh, oh, that was three. Four, <laughs> temperance. Temperance is the uh, execution of uh, restraint and uh, the indulgence of our, of, our, of, our, of our emotions, of our passions. And indulgence and passions coming back to the first, the, the second uh, objective, where it was, and their passions it can be in all forms. There's the more you know traditional types of eating, drinking, working, playing, uh, sexual activity. These where we can uh, we can indulge ourselves in those and go to excess. This is uh, the, not doing that. Restraining ourselves is temperance, and uh, temperance uh, allows us two things. One, it reduces our our footprint of consumption, which is a good thing, and in uh, in many apparent purposes, especially with nine billion of us on the planet, um, and it also um, makes us more powerful in terms of being able to control ourselves, be more mature, more adult-like, more, uh, more, more of a uh, of an empowered individual, empowered over ourselves. That word "empowered" has a kind of a strange feel to it, but I think you know what I mean. Uh, so. Temperance, uh, and also the execution of temperance, the very act of performing temperance is a shortcut to virtue. We uh, are living a virtuous life when we uh, uh, can restrain and control our, our passions our, and, and our, our actions. And exercising, uh, consuming at will by virtue is, 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 is a shortcut to indulgence. Which uh, is it? Is is living living more? Well, here we go. I got the red light. So uh, I think I did. I cover that one. Okay, good. Now the next one is the uh, uh, principle of uh, the great indifference, which is the uh, fact that the universe doesn't seem to uh, care about us. If we look around as much as we have, we have certainly haven't looked very far. We haven't found anything that indicates that anyone out there or anything out there gives a dang about us at all. If we want a, a warm uh, hand on our shoulder or a sympathetic ear or a loving eye, we better look to one another. Uh, there appears to be no, there's no good evidence at least to indicate that there's anything like that in the universe. And uh, when, but we like to tell ourselves that. It's a comforting thing. It uh, gives a, uh, it rounds out our lives. It also uh, uh, relieves us of the uh, obligation and duty to uh, develop our, our own principles, to follow our own objectives, if we can follow someone else's. And it's also the great evener-outer, <laughs> if that's a, if that's a term. You know, if, uh, if there's an objective, uh, uh, all-encompassing uh, morality and, uh, and law, then uh, we have, all we have to do is just get everybody to abide that rather than uh, come to the to go through the difficult challenge of, of getting everyone to agree to uh, the best and most sound law. There's a lot of danger in that too.
know, if there's an app, something that's absolute, what if it's wrong? And uh, then we wind up killing one another, knocking one over the, each over the head. If uh, we recognize, however, that our principles and objectives are malleable to, to the facts, then uh, we're more likely to listen with a more open ear to the objections of others and the good, sound ideas of others. So there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's an emptiness and a fearful, fearful component to the great indifference. That the fact that you look out in the universe and there's nothing looking back. But there's also uh, a, an empowering uh, 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 truth to that as well, which uh, it makes all the difference. Uh, next, moving fast now, I'm over the 10 minute mark. Um, next fa uh, is the uh, principle of reason, which is the governing faculty, which is how we discern what is true, how we isolate what the facts are in the world. And uh, then we come up with uh, sound arguments that uh, uh, make good predictions through their conclusions that can that reinforce our, our confidence level that the, the facts and our arguments that we've created, the, uh, prop, the prop, prop proposals that we've made, the uh, hypothesis, hypothesis and, and ultimately theories that we, we are working on are actually true. Keeping in mind that, uh, that uh, new information and new facts may uh, always bring those into question and being uh, comfortable with the fact of, of never really knowing for sure. Reason is the arbiter of truth. It is the vehicle by which we move forward on the path of wildness. And finally, virtue. Virtue is nothing more than uh, the uh, end result of, uh, of living a life on the path of wildness, where we're living a life recognizing that uh, we're just bits and pieces flowing and changing throughout time, that uh, the, uh, we ha everything has a particular nature. We live better if we can recognize what that is in the other things and in ourselves that we're social animals, we need one another, and social ends are a shortcut to virtue, that uh, um, uh, the, the temperance is the key to, uh, to, 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 to concentrating virtue in, the, in, our, in our days by, uh, by living a more deliberate life <clears throat> and, uh, you, and, uh, and, and becoming uh, more of the master of our mind and our body. And uh, then the uh, path of, and then the great indifference, which is the uh, the, empty, the emptiness out there, looking to each other, putting your hand around the stranger, uh, um, and uh, doing what you can to uh, uh, to be a better better member of this of this species. And then uh, exercising reason is the arbiter of truth. When we come into conflict, let's d distill down the premises into their component arguments and look at the facts and uh, and work from there back towards a more. Uh, uh, a better, more sound, and better conclusion that uh, we can all agree with. We can all well agree with until we have better evidence. Keep working together. It's an iterative process. There you go. Path of Wildness uh, a walk for today or a meditation for today. And hey, it's light again. <laughs> all right. All the different stuff 13 minutes makes. Have a great day. Bye bye.